Okay, so in our previous video I showed you how to start your chains, your initial chains to work with. And in this video I'm going to show you how to single crochet. Now that's a, a US terminology, single crochet. In the UK that would be a double crochet. So, But for the relevance of this video I'm going to call it a single crochet because the majority of my patterns are written in US terminology. So it's always worth checking where your pattern comes from or what terminology you use before you start out otherwise you can end up getting in a bit of a mess. So what I'm going to do is this is going to like lead on to the next video which is going to be how to like work down work down these chains with single crochet and then turn around and work into your foundation st chain stitches which a lot of my patterns start that way especially the shoes or bags and it's a really good technique to learn um, a lot of people get confused with it so hopefully this, this will help but what we're going to do is so that, that's our first stitch there so we're going to ignore that one we're going to go into our second one there okay so if you put your hook through it's a bit tight actually hook through and what you want to make sure is you've just got one length of uh, yarn over the top of your hook that's quite important so you want to make sure so look underneath you don't want to go make sure you're catching any other especially this this bit here you don't want to catch any of that so always make sure you've just got the one one piece of yarn the very top one so I'll show you again so we go through through our stitch just making sure we've got that top piece of yarn there and we're going to go underneath again this is how I work and I'm going to twist same as your chains really you're going to twist down and pull through until you've got two two stitches on your hook and then you're going to go underneath again twist down and then you're going to pull through both loops to complete your stitch like so Okay, and that's your first single crochet. Now we're actually going to do two single crochet in the same stitch um, to show you how to do the beginning of a shoe. So we're going to go through the same stitch again, like so, making sure we've still got just the one piece of yarn over there. Underneath, twist your hook round, pull through. So you've got two loops, and then underneath again, twist down and pull through two loops like that so now we've got two single crochet stitches in our second stitch from the hook because we didn't go into the first one we skipped that one we went into the second one so as many as my patterns say a lot of them say two single crochet in the second stitch from hook and that's what we've done so we want to continue down over the next eight stitches which is one single crochet in each one again you go through making sure you've just got the one piece of yarn on your hook like that underneath that piece of yarn pull through and up and then you're going to go underneath again and pull through both loops to complete the stitch and you've got your third single crochet but it's in the second stitch so then I'm not doing two single crochet this time I'm just going to do one one in the next eight stitches so I'm going to go through you can see there I'm going to go through again making sure you just got the one thread pull through underneath the yarn again my fingers in the way and pull through two loops like so and then repeat again in the next stitch start again because that went a bit fiddly don't need to get confused. And so you go through again, make sure just one length. Underneath the yarn, pull down and through. Come up and then get the yarn again underneath, pull through two loops. So we've got five stitches in total, two in the in that one, and then three, one in each in the next three. So I'm going to repeat that down for another five stitches. So go through again just the top making sure you're not catching any other pieces of yarn underneath pull through underneath again pull through both loops and go underneath the next stitch 
underneath the arm, pull through, underneath the arm again, pull through both loops. The next stitch, underneath, pull through, underneath, the next stitch. Down, pull through, underneath both loops. Okay, so we got how many have we done now? Put two in our second stitch from hook, and we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So we need to do just one more single crochet in the next stitch. So go for our next stitch again, being careful not to catch anything else. Underneath our yarn, pull through and up. Underneath again, twist your hook down, pull through both loops and up. And then we should have one stitch left. And we're going to do two single crochet in that stitch to finish. So we go through, make sure not to catch anything else. Pull your yarn through, down, underneath, and pull through both loops. And go through again. underneath. There we go. We've actually got in total 12 stitches in total. So we've got eight in the middle and we've got two each end. 12 stitches. Okay and in my next video I will show you how to continue round as if you're making one of my shoes.